Hello team, happy Friday. It has been a heck of a week. I have gone from planes, trains, automobiles, Gerard, um, Dan, and Rajul and myself have been London, Paris, and now I'm broadcasting from Malmo, our beautiful new offices um, in Malmo with the Notify team. Um, Chris and Marcus um, have done an incredible job, and, and Peter and Matthias and the, everyone in the organization. I, listen, um, this organization, our media monitoring, you know, PR workflow guys, they beat their numbers. In fact, they actually destroyed their numbers last year, and we're really excited about how we integrate it more into everything we're doing. But, you know, this week, I mean, coming off our SKO, um, coming off safe, coming off the PR offsite, lots of things going on in the organization and it's an exciting time. It's only the beginning of 2020, but I feel like we're way, way, way into it. Um, this has been an incredible roadshow. You know, actually, before we get into my theme, hey, you know what? No, I'm actually going to do my theme. This is what happens when you do them live and you and you don't take breaks and you don't do takes and it is what it is. You know, I think the theme, and I got this from Gerard, is it's, it's all about appreciating things. And sometimes you don't appreciate things until it goes away. It could be as simple as watching a webcast that's just audio and slides only. Think of someone in the SKO, right? Um, it can be, you know, the way a team was before something changed. And sometimes we don't appreciate the changes that are going on until we think about how it was before and how far we've come. You know, that to me is like one of the things that I sit back as I went from city to city this week with Dan Rajul um, and Gerard. And I tried, and I, I promised you guys I was gonna to try to do this. Take a step back and just appreciate the situation we're in. And every single city we went in, besides doing sales, we had an SKO with the, well not SKO, a, a, a town hall with the team. And I really got a chance to reflect where I was in some of those offices a year ago, some of them 20 months ago, right? Almost two years. And where we've come and how bad or how people thought it wasn't great in the beginning and how it's changed. Here's the number one thing I got, or number one, some of the thing I got from every location we went to, just how everyone thinks we're going in the right direction. Everyone is on the on the right train with us. The sales organization starting to click. We have changed me. They know what our seven goals are, right? Um, um, in the sales organization. If you don't, I think I'll share them with you on next week's video. In fact, I'll actually have Dan and Rajul create a little seven thing um, and Gerard. But it's really important um, to know where you were in order to get to where you're going. And I think we're doing a really good job. I was just utterly impressed every location I went with, the quality of the people on our teams, the care, the client focus, um, um, just how they're gelling, how amazing Ger a team Gerard has put together in, in EMEA, um, how his leaders, Victoire and Alexi in Paris, and you know, Ben Pearson and the guys in London, and of course, Peter um, in Malmo with the Notify team, and of course, Marcus and Chris for everything they're doing. It just feels really good. Um, and so I'm just saying, every now and then, like even in your personal life, sometimes you think it's crazy when you're, ki you know, you're changing lots of diapers, you're going to all these soccer matches and baseball games and with your kids or gymnastics or dancing, and you go, when am I going to get a break? And until it's gone, or it, you don't really know what it is and you don't appreciate it. And I'm appreciating every moment of this. I'm appreciating the lack of sleep. I'm appreciating the bonding time I'm having with leaders on my team when I travel. And the best part for me, bar none, um, besides seeing where the business is going, is when I get to spend time with people in the trenches, like the other night in Paris, having dinner with some people that I knew in the organization, but I never spent any time with. It doesn't matter what their roles are. New person in Milan, someone from Germany. Uh, we got to talk about training for a triathlon. Sometimes it's not all about work, but it just builds this great camaraderie. And again, sometimes you don't appreciate things. You really have a chance to, to look at them. 
I'm appreciating everything everyone does. So why don't we go, hey, why don't we start with this? We took a bunch of pictures, um, Gerard, Dan, and I, and Rajul. Why don't we, with some music, and maybe you'll throw in the little video when we run around the horn in Paris, how people are thinking. Throw some music, have fun. I have no idea what music Kathy is gonna pick. I will not see this since I'm taking a flight when she's putting this together. So, dealer's choice, Kath, do the video. See that? <laughs> Best part of the day? Now. Now. Uh, I don't think that's Maybe you want to talk about this a little more? No, no, it's okay. All right. What's up, Ruth? The new father? Yes. Well, best part of the day. Best part of the day. Um, Alan James's explanation of how he runs as a gun. Ah, best part of your day? Of course, the best part of the day. Wow, all of a sudden, Paris has gotten so unarticulate. All right. All right. Gerard? Town hall. Town hall? Best part of the day? Come on. All right. Best part of the day? Yeah. Um, the whole day. The whole day. The this is the restaurant. That's how I all right, Yannick, after you just fixed your hair, what about yeah, you? Yeah. Am, I, am I okay? Yep. <laughs> okay, good. But the best part of the day was actually when we were all in that open space and to see all the people that are in that office currently uh, that we didn't have some months ago. So. Uh, uh, all right, new guy? Best, <laughs> new guy. <laughs> best part of the day, uh, all, all yes. the day, and yeah. uh, right now, of course. Do you love working at Entrado so far? Yeah, sure, it's just the beginning, but uh, I think uh, things are going to start uh, very quickly and I'm, I'm very glad, I'm very happy. Ah, et toi? Best part of the day, I would agree with Emmanuel and Yannick, it's right now. I think we've done a very good job today, packing a two days agenda into one, so I'm quite proud of what we have achieved today. Dan, what was the best part of the day besides saving Dell? Uh, I'd have to say I love the role play. It's always fun to see all the hard work put into action. All right. Best part of your day besides working for one of the top 25 companies in the PR workflow industry? Well, I'd say spending time with the whole team for Content for Europe and obviously uh, the executive team come over and Gerard's solutions uh, presentation I thought was really uh, insightful. Gerard. Gerard. Well, after, after a very full day with all the information, looking forward to to this. A Paris at night is a good is a good thing to do. At night in Paris, there's the team.
Let's go to a couple videos I have, and then I'm going to wrap this up. Um, Ivan, uh, Ivan Sugarman, incredible guy in our ambassador, ambassador team in Detroit. He has a...